Hey, it's Joel. Yes, we're in the new office. We're still setting up and I thought I'd give you a look at this little print room that we have set up and the sunshine of the Pacific Northwest is shining on my face. One of the things I wanna talk about though is practical printing. We've showcased a number of practical printing projects here on the show and they've been quite popular. People have followed along and I think it's time we give you a status update. Have they stood the test of time? Am I still using these things? Are they still around? I don't know. Let's find out and let's find out together right here on 3D Printing Nerd. One of my favorite practical printing projects were these drawer pulls for this bench that my dad made me. The bench was made and these were finished off knowing that I was going to get to do this project. And the video we did for this was pretty wonderful as well. A lot of people followed along. These are carbon fiber nylon and they have stood the test of time. They still work and uh, they've been on for a shoot since, when did I say the video was coming out? June? June? 2018, yeah. June of 2018. That's pretty amazing. So these are still working and this is a practical print. One of my favorite practical printing projects was this shift knob for my WRX. The first episode we did on this was back in October of 2015. Now what we need to do is take this piece and this piece and attach it with the six screws and the six nuts. It, uh, it didn't survive at the time. And so in June of 2018, we did a new one with an annealed knob and this one's been going ever since. And what's great is even though it was printed at, I believe it was 0.2, just because I'm handling it and using it and shifting with it, the constant use wears down the layer lines. And so it's smooth. It's actually, I mean, it's not chrome smooth, but it's smooth enough and it doesn't wiggle. It doesn't spin. It's sitting here. It's working great. This is a practical print. More often than not, you'll find that the gas cap tether breaks on vehicles and you end up with a gas cap that just falls down when you let go of it instead of hanging by the tether. So what I did is printed a gas cap tether. And what's failing on this is actually this part right here. Surprisingly, this little bit right here is giving out before the flexible plastic that I printed with. So this, well, this is a practical print. Hey, look, we're in the bathroom and it's the location of another practical print we did back in September of 2018. One of these is printed and one of these is not. One of these broke and it was easy enough to remodel, reprint, and then install. <laughs> and now I don't even remember which one is printed and which one is not. And so this is a practical print. Honestly, one of my favorite things I've ever printed that was practical is this fix for the refrigerator. This little piece right here is what lets both of these doors close and this little, this little flap right here, that's supposed to guide this into the right spot. Originally it broke because when it was out like this, the flap when hit really hard breaks this piece. There we go, that'll reset the sound. So what I had to do with a broken piece is design this in Fusion 360 after I sketched it on a notepad and it's survived ever since. I did have a previous one in here that did break because again, someone slammed the door. So I used a print orientation technique where I uh, flipped it up this way and I printed it and it's held ever since. And now the refrigerator closes and it's useful. This is a practical print. Back in August of 2017, I had a problem where the gasket between the garbage disposal and the sink broke and it started leaking. I used 3D printing to fix the problem because it was late at night and nothing was open. And it's been almost two and a half years. And there we go, one gasket, 100% infill. It's still working. This is still working and it hasn't leaked, not one bit. I see no water dripping. It's working great. And this is a practical print. Back in 2018, one of the practical printing projects that we did were these brackets. And these have this, this wood beam that runs along and then it holds all of the filament against the wall, keeps it off the ground. Excellent, right? These were great. And we did a contest where people could submit designs for these, for these spool holders that actually hang off of the wood. This is great. And they've stood the test of time. As you can tell, nothing has fallen. These are all strong. These will move to the new office in just a little bit. And these are a practical print. One of the things that you never saw were the brackets for this. So this is the big Thanos blade. We made this not that long ago. It's big, it's heavy, but these brackets that it sit on, look at that. Boy, it bounces too, that's cool. 
These brackets hold the blade against the wall, and it's I mean, it's huge, freaking huge. Look at it, it's great. So these are gonna move out to the new office because I'm gonna have my Thanos blade there at the new office, of course, but you know, I never did a video on this because sometimes it's okay to print practical items and, and not make content on it, I'm told. It's tough to do, but every once in a while, you gotta do that. So this is a practical print. Hey, Sean, zoom out a bit. Look, it's pretty empty in here. We've moved almost everything we need to to the new office, except for this. Back in December of 2018, Animal Trades and I, we got this plant potted in this 3D printed potted plant holder. I don't know, whatever the right words are. It's one of the ones where it's two pieces. And actually, take a look. It's the roots have grown through. It does need a little bit more water, but this is great because it gives me an opportunity, so I don't have to spill any water, to move it to the new office. And there's a couple more things I wanna show you. So why don't we take this up to the new office and why don't we show you a couple more practical prints. Come on, plant. Uh, here we are. You sit there, plant. Back in June of 2018, I made tripod leg extenders. And unfortunately, while it is a practical print, it did fail. It didn't fail because of a material, well, the material failed, but it's because of my design choices. I'm by no means a competent designer at times, and uh, the things that held the tripod legs to these brackets, it just kind of sheared off just like that. I didn't make this strong enough. There's a lot better ways to design this, and if you're interested, I am going to be redesigning it, and that's, that's the end goal. So unfortunately, it failed, but it's still a practical print. And finally, one of the practical prints that I got to make for a friend, my producer David Tobin, was the mask for Noob Cybot. He was gonna be Noob Cybot for Halloween a few years ago and he needed a mask. I was able to 3D print this on the N2 Plus and then I sent it to him. He was able to finish it and then once finished, he wore it and he looked amazing in his outfit. I mean, mad props to you, David. And yes, I firmly believe cosplay is practical prints. Well, I hope you enjoyed that little tour around the practical prints that we've done. There was one that failed, but the rest are still holding true. And I can't wait for more of the practical prints that get done. And if you have anything specific you wanna know about any of these, just leave a question down in the comments and I'll do my best to get to it. Otherwise, I'm glad you made it this far because if you did, you are awesome. Don't forget to hug each other more. I love you all. As always, high five. Plant five. Plant five.